Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Like shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. Scale the screen. I don't care. That big. It's like it's like a knight, but he's got a shovel or some hey, shit. Hey, look, it's that company that I pretended to apply for a job for because uh, design industry position at uni. Anyway, hello, welcome to <laughs> Shovel Knight. Save. Yo, what? Oh, I think it's between like the PS3 and four versions. Uh, I think. Have a look. What let's see. Cloud information. Nah, you can probably, grab, you can probably grab it from like the Vita and shit as well. That's cool. Neat. Yeah, welcome to Shovel Knight. Um, we're gonna be doing just good old regular Shovel Knight. We're gonna do Shovel of Hope. Which shovel like, of uh, Hope. Shovel of Hope. Uh, what's gonna be our name? Um. Butthead. Okay. I'm gonna, we're gonna we're gonna do it fancily though. With an E at the end of butt. Yeah, one sec. Uh, where's you? Boot. No, 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 no. It's two, no, no. It's two T's. Oh, no, 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 dude, we're doing it fancily. Boot Headington. <laughs> I don't think uh, there's gonna be, yeah, there's not enough uh, space on that, mate. Oh, uh, you don't believe. Boot Hedgehog. There we go. That's Hed our name. Boot Hedgehog. <laughs> Body swap <laughs> mode. It's like the character. Nah, we'll play it completely vanilla. Would you like to choose your profile? Yes. No, no, we'll, we'll skip. Yeah. No, that's fine. I love how he's just rocking out. He's just like, I mean, yeah. yeah. He doesn't know yet, but he's going to be in a lot of indie games. Yeah. Future me, put up a photo of Shovel Knight in an indie game. Thanks, and another one. And another one. And another one. It's just the and fucking ukulele. It's just the ukulele one five times. And another one. <laughs> and now show him in Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, he is in Smash, eh? Yeah. I wish he was a not fighter. as a playable character, but yeah. oh well. I honestly think I would have preferred him over fucking Sora. Oh, no, I mean, why not both at this point? Do you remember okay. how this was essentially like the Game Grumps game for a while? Um, explain your answer. So like they were the ones that did a lot of the promo for this back in the day. Like this was like if you wanted to see the Shovel Knight Let's Play, you went and watched the Game Grumps one. And they've done all like the promo for the. Oh, Amiibos dude, it's Bioshock on the right there. That's Bioshock. Yeah, you're right, Mr. Bioshock. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> I'm gonna. Edit oh, my that to... armor has distinct fucking shoulder blades. Yeah, I'm gonna give uh, edit that to give him a fucking awesome ass. This is the power I have because I do sprite art. No, 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 no. It's shoveling time, baby. A fun fact. Imagine if this game was just about you doing community service and you were literally just shoveling shit the entire game. That'd be great, actually. Can you imagine someone make we... a ROM hack of a uh, shovel night where you just shovel shit for community service? Thanks. Yes, please. A ROM hack of a fucking game that I don't think even has a... Actually, no. I'm playing it off a disc, so yeah. I'm playing this off my physical copy, which... I mean, there's a, there's a D 3DS version, dude, so yes, there's a ROM of this game. Yeah, you're right. And it's got a sw uh, Switch cart as well, so, yeah. Also, Jay Kaufman, sexy genius that you are. Fucking excellent music. Good stuff. Like, so, when did this game get? It's just a 2014, wasn't it? 14? Yeah. God, this like, game is seven years old. Remember, this was uh, this game was like getting its Kickstarter during John era of Game Grumps. So just let that sink in. God, I don't want the sink to come in. I've got one already. No matter. Is your refrigerator running, Josh? No. Yeah, this did this song get a remix in Smash? Uh, I don't think any Shovel Knight music did. That's a shame. I was hoping it came with like the Assist Fighter because this is such a good track. The fact that like Shovel Knight was just an Assist and not even a fucking me costume. Like, come on, at least let him be a sword fighter. Yeah, that would have been know? cool. It's a shame as well because we got so many fucking Gunner skins. Yeah. Also, I could do, like, the first half of this game, like, the back of my hand. I've never beaten it. Yeah, honestly, same. Like, I get about halfway through this game usually, and then just go, you know what, that's enough for me, thanks, yeah. Yeah. Because, like... That's, a, that's, that's not to that's say the thing with me. Either. Yeah, no, it's just, uh, when it gets difficult, I'm not into uh, overly difficult games like this, where it's just trial and error over and over, uh, all the time. Yeah. Uh, I just like fair platforming, and the first part of this game is excellent fair platforming. They take the best of, parts you know, fun of like, for the whole family. Yeah, they take the best parts of NES and like SNES platforming and just combine it together, like the fucking Scrooge McDuck Pogo thing. Yeah, but then later on in the game, it becomes essentially just you know, Fortnite, classic yeah. Mega Man. 
And it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, it's good. It's still, it's fucking fantastic, but it just isn't my thing, I yeah. guess. You know, and just re retrying a level over and over again is just not my style, usually. Same. Hey, music. That's probably, you know, a side effect of me growing up in the, uh, you know... PS2 era? Fucking P yeah, no, the PS2 and PS3 eras where, you know... We could rewind point, and save, save data. state. Well, I'm mo more so, the, you know, the save data era where, you know... Oh, we realise that games it don't have to be balls to the walls hard, they just have to be long. Yeah. And, you know, um, challenges can come from more, uh, you know... What, what's the word? Curated like, challenge, as opposed to yeah. just, here's a bunch of fucking enemies, have fun. Yeah. What you're saying is you the level design was less... But even then, I wouldn't say that this level design, I think it's, like, shitty. It's just very... Yeah, no, okay. I feel like... Just, I'm not saying design is necessarily better now or uh, worse back then or anything like that. It's more so, I'd say it's more nuanced now, where because there's more of a game that you can actually, like, make, um, you know, the, the, a lot more thought goes into uh, where in the game that level is positioned, yeah. I guess. And instead of getting shit like Mario 1, where, like, the, the later part of the game just becomes, you know, inane bullshit just to pad out the fucking you know, runtime, you get stuff like New Super Mario Brothers, where even in World 8, you get, you know, just a lot of harder challenges that aren't as hard as Mario 1 is at any point. Yeah. And, like, the hardest challenge in New Super Wii is probably that roller coaster level, which, if you know what you're doing in it, you can do it, like, the back of your fucking hand, because it's, you know, it's all about learning that shit. I remember getting stuck on New react. Super Wii as a kid, if I'm being completely honest. I did, at one point, but then... Around the forest area is where I gave up as a kid. Um, I got to World 8 and... So, I, rest I in peace it. the video bit, right? Yeah. I beat the game, uh, but I didn't get around to 100%ing it because of that roller coaster level, and then nowadays I can do that shit really easily. Yeah. An enemy? Yeah, there was. I knew He's one a of these skeleton had a man. Enemy. Yeah! He's wearing armor to protect That's... his lack of insides. Papyrus moment. Oh, wait. Yeah, be careful not to stab through his armor because you might hit, I don't know, his lack of fucking organs. They're invisible. Yeah. <laughs> Surely it would make more sense to just not wear fucking armor so maybe the sword can just go through. He died in the armor. Causing, as, a, as opposed to causing, you know, like blunt damage from the armor hitting him. Ah, don't worry about it. It's, a, it's like it's like a bunch of coins rattling around in a jar. Yeah, it's beautiful. If you throw if you throw coins at somebody, it's hard. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to fucking dodge. But if you throw one jar of coins at them, they can just move out of the way. Ow! I don't know where I'm fucking going with this analogy. Yeah, but so where's this metaphor going, Josh? Is this a bit? <laughs> it's not there going a... anywhere. But fuck it. Damn it. Oh, whatever. God, this music fucking just slaps. Yeah. Dude, like, chiptune is very hard to get right, because otherwise it'll just sound like you're making a normal song with 8-bit instruments. But, like, Jake Coulton, man, he does such... Like, he did a, so a song for, like, an Adventure Time game, and it's so fucking... Yeah, and the like... fact that this didn't get, like, an actual remix in Smash is genuinely tragic. Yeah. I do, I do think the there's a fucking fucking Megalomania did. Yeah, there's an unfortunate little bit of, like, elitism in Smash, I think, against indie titles. And, yeah. you know, considering the only indie title that's got an actual Smash representation is technically Minecraft, even though that's now a fucking Microsoft juggernaut. Yeah. You know? It's like, man. They get at least fucking better. Cuphead got it, and so did, um... Oh, fuck me, I accidentally... Uh, yeah, but they didn't get going. actual fighters. Yeah. You know? And I get it, I because guess, with yeah. those ones, it's like, you know, I Shit. think it makes more sense for them to be costumes, because their movesets would be very limited. But fuck yeah. it, come on, man. Like, Shovel Knight, Shantae, I mean, even that, I wouldn't consider Shantae indie, personally, but hey. Shantae is indie in that, like, the developer, I guess, technically independently publishes it, also I'm just giving him well, he has the carrot. Yeah, but by that, by that fucking logic, any Nintendo game is an indie game because they independently publish their shit. Oh, too. yeah. Technically, every game is the indie game, it's just that we've given a. Well, so that sort of jumping layer is just. Oh, I well, always... no. I mean, 
I'd say if it's published by somebody that's not the developer, then it's not indie, but yeah. Yeah, I guess. Where does it stop, game industry? Where's the line between indie <laughs> and not indie, huh? Well, Answer me! Independent? I hardly know her. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's a failed joke. It's probably going to be the name of the part. No! Maybe. Yes. Have to now, name Josh. You need to name the part something very clickbaity, like... I don't know. He, he puts his shovel where? Hey. He just put hey, a yeah. shovel in my sack. Good. And he got diamonds. For See, and that, <laughs> yeah, it's Minecraft. <laughs> no silly lark, you get diamonds with a pickaxe, not a shovel. Maybe in your game. You remember when the pickaxe used to be like the one tool you needed? That was a fun yeah. time. Miss that time. I miss 1.4.7. Black Knight. Yeah. I like okay, so if Black Knight also wields a shovel, why does Shovel Knight call himself Shovel Knight? This implies that like Yeah, why isn't he are... just why isn't, why isn't he, he the blue knight? Why isn't he just knight? <laughs> like do Sense all... a little bit of racism here, Shovel Knight. Yeah, what the fuck? The order of no quarter. None of that matters. Blah blah I mean, blah. He's also got changes. a lot of he's also got a lot of red there too. I'm not gonna name the red knight though, are ya? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, like come on guys. <laughs> Surely well, it sounds they like the eight-bit version. Giving him a pickaxe um... or something, or you know, what about Spade Knight? Yeah, uh... you know what? That would have been cool if he was like Spade Knight or like uh, Knight. I don't know, like different in different farming implementation instead of different, different Black digging Knight. out of wrappers. Drill Knight. Oh, I don't yes. know. Sonic and the Black Knight. God, way to bring it back to Sonic, Josh. Good job. You're welcome. I mean, we are blue. Come on, don't die. Oh, okay. Again, I haven't played this game in like two years. So, how did you originally play this? Because this was this is available on literally fucking everything. I had it on Wii U. I had it on 3DS. Ouch. And that's how I, I mean, physically or digitally. Digitally. Like, there we go. Had a pattern going. Hey, yo, Black Knight, do you want to learn how to do a fucking infinite? Yeah. Well, remember this fight being a little bit easier, so I think they might have changed it. I mean, again, you, you said it yourself, you haven't played in like two years. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, we did it. First level beat also, already. Also, um, with you being on 3DS, the aspect ratio might have been a bit shorter, probably. Yeah, maybe, actually. Actually, because uh, it's 240p, I think it's still 16 by 9 with ink. I think it's a little bit shorter, just a tiny bit. You want to Google it? Uh, I could check. Oh, that's right, after every level you have to do this stuff. This is such- I love a good, like, campfire, like, nicely lit, uh, sprite art thing. Like, there's just something so nice about it. Uh, the top screen is... 400 by 240. What does- is that 16 by 9 No, I typed in aspect ratio and it didn't give me- Bing is fucking useless, get out of here. The fuck are you using Bing? Only you. I love the fact that it's only you. Also, look at this, do you see It, it gives- okay, so moves? Bing gives me Microsoft rewards, which means I can get a fucking aspect ra- uh, not aspect- fucking gift cards for it. Aspect ratio is 5 by 3, apparently. Ew. Right, we have to go to the village first. It's worth out. noting, though, that the actual perpet uh, perceptual aspect ratio on the 3DS is, uh, is 16 by 9 when the 3D is turned on, because the stereoscopic UV widens it or something. Huh. Oh, yeah, here we go. I forgot that means you, give all the, you give the music sheets to the bard. There we go. You found Strike the Earth. Oh, let's say you listen to the soundtrack. This is just Jake Kaufman. Oh, cool. That's him. That's the guy. It's him. Go. Yep. I want a meal ticket. Wait. Oh wait. What? Do I get it? Oh, I have to go to the goat first. Yeah. He he gives you the tickets. Uh, I want to buy my meal ticket and help marry my options. Yes. Meal ticket. Yes. Well, hey. Give me a meal ticket. Thank you. And why does video game food have to look so good? 
Dude, one of the things that gets me is just like how fucking great uh, cartoon food looks compared to yeah. how it looks in real life. Like, you see fucking um, Tom and Jerry or some shit, and they pull out, like, you know, uh, just a chicken or something, and it looks so, like, chewy and shit. Yeah. And it, and it slides off the bone in one go, and then you, you eat that shit in real life, it's filled with fucking cartilage and shit. It's just like, ew. Wait, is that wall destructible? Yeah. yeah, it looks like, that looks like a, a thing. You might need a projectile for that, though. No, never mind. Thought. I'm wrong. No, I'll buy the fishing rod. Can I go to the out. left? Oh, yeah, I can go to the left? I think so, because oh. there's that oh, that's fucking right. mini it's game. The, yeah, it's the mini game, eh? Hello, governor. Oh, no. It's <laughs> like how it's just. Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? Alright, uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, too versed on this, but is there a lot of Rule 34 of this character? Because it feels like Probably. something. Let's ask Mason. Oh god, most of our viewers won't know who he is. That's good. But he'll know. Unless... Unless in the time between here and then, uh, he suddenly becomes big on Twitter for some reason. Yeah. Mason becomes a Cloud account. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> That's it! I'm gonna become big on Twitter! Mason becomes... A... Mason becomes an influencer. Oh god. The gang becomes influencers. <laughs> I'd God, watch this, that. Is, this is fucking difficult. You, need, you definitely need to hit those flashy ones, though. That's, like, gotta be your priority. Yeah. Oh, good, good job. Oh, I hit two hit there. It. 60 set oh, two off the funny number. Oh, come on. That's not very good. If you try to impress me, you should try for 70. Alright, well, come on. You gotta try again now. Oh. <laughs> Alright. We'll try once an episode. Every time we come back, it, we'll do it. That's going to be very anticlimactic when you do it next time. Yeah, I know, right? Like, oh, you. Yes, Mr. Oh, the pixel art in this game is really good until you look at the character faces, and then it's just like, oh dear. Yeah, and then it's just like, mmm. Look, it's Bojack Oh, God, Bojack. <laughs> Fucking one brain cell activating there. Uh, one brain cell ping pong, uh, you know, pinballing between the fucking internet lines between Australia and Florida. Yeah. Oh, this song's so good as well. I feel like they hit you with, like, most of the bangers right off the bat. Right, what's my special button in this? It's like, it's different in, like, every version. Isn't it, like, a trigger? There we go. Good job, moron. <laughs> 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 Nailed it. All that fucking build up of you going into the fucking menu and you immediately just miss that shit. <laughs> I'm good at video games. What a fucking whiff. Oh, good job, you whiffed it again. Yeah. Alright, and. Oh. If whiffed it oh, again. Yeah, it's fine. Remember, <laughs> kids, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Where, or in Locke's case, you still miss them anyway. You still miss them anyway, I must say. What do you think that's filled with? Um... Do you want me to do the, the funny answer? If you say cum cauldron, you're off the channel. Cum cauldron. Well, hey everybody, welcome to Flip. <laughs> Just like the outro theme starts playing here. <laughs> yeah.